Hello Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are taking you inside the capital city of Sierra Leone. In this case, we are talking about Freetown. By the end of this video, we will discuss Freetown in greater details and explore this amazing African city and bring to you the historical importance of the city of Freetown to the people of Sierra Leone. More importantly, we shall explore in details some very important things that have never been discussed in details. We shall dig that deep into it and also by the end of this video, you will know Freetown like never before seen. So without any much delay, we shall just go straight into it. But before we jump into that, I would like to give you a quick background with regards to the country of Sierra Leone for those of you who don't know. Sierra Leone with regards to its entirety, it's a tropical country on the coast of West Africa. It's been bordered by the Atlantic Ocean in southwest, by Liberia in southeast, and it's half surrounded by Guinea in the north and also northeast. In the late 18th century, the early 19th century as well, the region around Freetown was used by the British to resettle free slaves. London Blacks Poor, as was known, and many African American refugees from the American Revolution. Sierra Leone was since 1808 the British Crown Colony. The country gained independence in 1961. Today, it is one of the challenging countries in the African continent, but moving towards a pro and also a clear direction. The country does have its own challenges, however, it's transforming over the years, and we all looking at how Sierra Leone is emerging from the challenging years of civil war. Moving ahead, the area size of Sierra Leone is just over 71,000 km square. The country is just slightly larger than Ireland or is slightly smaller than the US state of South Carolina. The country's landscape offers a flat coastal belt. The eastern half of the nation is covered by hills and high mountains. Part of the Guinea Highlands, you also have Mount Batumani and also with the Loma Mountains in Kanadugu, in the northeast province to the point out, it is the highest peak in the country. Main rivers are the Thai rivers, the Sewa, and you also have the Moa River. The population of Sierra Leone is just over 7 million people based on recent figures. Its largest city, chief port and capital is Freetown. The city is situated in the northwest of the country and the coast of the North Atlantic Ocean. With regards to languages, spoken languages are English, which is official. You do have Creole as well. You have Temne, Mende, and other West African languages. Islam is 78% and Christian is 21%. There are, however, other many uh, religions in the country. Sierra Leone lies within Africa's tropical zone with a climate that offers two seasons raining season from May to December and a dry season from December to May. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. In going back to our main conversation today, talking about the beautiful city of Freetown uh, in Sierra Leone. Considering Freetown, Freetown is the capital and port city and the commercial center and largest city of Sierra Leone as we've pointed out earlier. The city was founded by British naval lieutenant John Claxon and freed American slaves from Nova Scotia. Freetown was part of the larger colony of Sierra Leone which was founded by the Sierra Leone Company, the SLC in 1787, so the point out. The LLC, organized by the British businessman and abolitionist William Weberforce sought to rehabilitate the black poor of London and former slaves of North America by bringing them to settlement in Sierra Leone where they would stop the African slave trade by spreading Christianity throughout the continent. The first groups of blacks, about 400 Londoners, arrived in Sierra Leone in 1787 and established a Granville town named after British abolitionist Granville Sharp, when the settlement was destroyed by the indigenous inhabitants in 1789, British abolitionists sent a second large uh, party of about a thousand former American slaves who had been resettled in Nova Scotia at the end of the American Revolution. The settlers established Freetown in 1792. At about 1800, 
the 500 Jamaican morons were landed by the British uh, to the same country. The surviving Londoners, the Nova Scotians and the Jamaican Maroons intermarried to create the crew population of Freetown. The crew banded, uh, bonded together partly because of their Christian background and Western cultures, but also because they lack the traditional traditions of native law and customs uh, which dominated the lives of the indigenous people. Creoles also had important connections with British colonial officials who administered Sierra Leone from 1800s to the point out when they assumed control over the SLC colony to 1961 when Sierra Leone gained its independence. The connections also allowed Creole, also a tiny minority of the colony population, to become the most powerful and influential group after the colonial administration in the city of the colony. If you consider Freetown, Freetown has transformed. If you consider the amazing history looking at this beautiful African capital, from 1800 to about 1874, Freetown was the headquarters for the Brewer British Navy, the West African Squadron, which captured slave ships and headed for the Americans and released their cargo into the city. Thus, Freetown had a population, uh, so the point out, from all across West Africa. Eventually, those population became the largest segment of the crew population. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe, share our videos to your different network. As of 1961, Sierra Leone gained independence and Freetown with a population of approximately 100,000 became its capital city. After independence, Freetown, like most capital of newly created African nations, received thousands of migrants in search of employment. Those migrants became involved in the city's political, challenging and also cruel uh, at the time for dominance. Most of the migrants were Muslims and stood in sharp contrast to the Christian crew, who nonetheless continued to control civil services, most professionals also, and business communities. Sierra Leone ability to avoid political unrest ended in 1990 when a civil war broke out. The war destroyed much of the city, infrastructure and the economy. Continued ethnic violence in the country, however, forced a mass immigration of people into Freetown. Twelve years of nearly continuous civil war finally ended uh, in Freetown and Sierra Leone's uh, looking around 2002. These particular issues are uh, kind of slow down uh, the continuous progress and development of Freetown. However, the city has transformed. It's an amazing African city at the moment. Of course, there's challenges that also exist like any other major African city. As a chief port city of Sierra Leone, Freetown is a commercial center for trade in platinum, gold, diamond, and oil. It is also known as the home of the Fura Bay College, and established that was established in 1827 as the first Western influence college in West Africa. To the 19th century, Fura Bay College attracted students from across West Africa who wanted to be educated. Drawing back to 2004, Freetown had the population of just over 1,000, 1 million people. So to point out, as of 2014. Freetown faced a new challenge as its citizens had to cope with uh, the polar epidemic at the time. However, the country has moved past that stage and they are driving forward. Freetown is a city that has also transformed in recent years. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Freetown is an amazing city for those of you who have visited this uh, amazing capital of Sierra Leone. It has transformed. It is a business hub at the moment that moves products and goods from the rural areas to transport them to different places. It does have an international airport as well. But those of you who have been to Sierra Leone, you would experience that. The country may be having its own challenges. However, it is fighting to come out strongly to join the community of nation, which is us already. By the moment, Freetown is an attractive city. It also has some difficulties as to operations in different ways. But in this episode, we've considered Freetown. For those of you who have traveled there, it does have international offices, businesses, amazing hotels, and also uh, wonderful um, resorts that could be visited. 
we've made a video with regards to one of the most beautiful resort in freytown that's in sierra leone we encourage you to check that we're talking in this case at the Plas resort if you consider this amazing african city considering its history and the country entirely from where it was looking at its challenging past you will notice that the country of free to our Sierra Leone, so the point out, has moved forward over the years. Free Town is a pleasant place. It does house international visitors coming from all over the world. You do have businesses that operate there, and also it's a country that at the moment is open to for business in different ways. We will say that Free Town, for those of you who are planning to visit, will encourage you to check your travel plans and know what the requirements are to get to this amazing African city. But again, like any other African city, for those of you who've been there, we would like to know what your experiences have been. If you've never been to a free town, we would like to know what would be driving you there. However, we recommend that while you plan your trip to Sierra Leone, stopping in free town and experiencing the beautiful sceneries and also very attractive things and museums uh, of other natural history regarding Sierra Leone's past will amaze you want to thank you for watching hopefully we're able to inform you with regards to this beautiful uh, city of freetown for those of you who have been there we would like to hear from you if you are from sierra leone we would like to know what makes freetown stand out in west africa but for now want to thank you for watching the explorer we're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode have a good day bye bye